so we're going to introduce this idea, this, this uh, concept that's called torque. Um, the symbol for torque, it kind of looks like a, it, well, it's a Greek letter tau. It kind of looks like a backwards, like capital J. Um, so that's a Greek letter tau. And, well, we'll make more refined definitions of torque later. Um, but what we're going to use for now is that torque is force um, times a distance from an axis. Okay, so I'm going to call it FR perp. And so this is the torque, what's called torque. And then this is force. And then this is going to be a distance from an axis. Okay. So to see how this plays out, let's look at this little, uh, in this little context where, uh, so here's me, 60 kilograms on one side of a plank. Here's a former student, Wes Gavin. 120 kilograms on the other side of the plank. Um, and it says, uh, where should we place this pivot to balance the system if the, if the platform, which is this plank, uh, has a mass of 60 kilograms? Um, and so the way this, uh, what it's asking us to do here is, is solve by letting the, the sum of what's called the torques go to zero. Well, so to see what, that, what we're talking about here, so here I am sitting on this side. So pushing down on this side of the plank will be my weight. So we're gonna label my force as mass of Pierce. I'm gonna put a P times G. So it's MG for Pierce. Uh, over here, this is Wes Gavin. So uh, Wes is putting a, his weight downward. So we'll say mass of, um, here, his name's Wes. So we'll say mass of W Wes times G, MWG. Um, also pushing downward is the mass of the plank. And that's going to be at the dead center at, uh, at x equals 2. So the mass of the plank, we're going to put there, I'm going to call it mpg. Mass of the plank times g. So those are three downward forces. And then uh, pushing up would be a normal force from this pivot, wherever we decide to put the pivot. Okay. And so, um, so what we're going to do is, if this thing is to be balanced, then that means that around this pivot, um, the, the sum of what's called the torque should be zero. So the idea is that these two forces are going to try to make the thing rotate uh, counterclockwise, and that's got to be balanced by this force provided by Wes's weight, which is going to make it rotate clockwise. Okay, And so the way to start this, it says what we need to do is let the, the sum of the torques go to zero. Okay, and so what that means is there should be a, a torque from Pierce, a torque from, oh, there's two P's here, aren't there? Oh, nuts. Um, let's go B for board. Um, torque from Pierce, a torque from the board, uh, potentially a torque from the normal force, a torque from Wes, and all those torques need to add to zero. And so, so now let's use this definition of what's called torque. So uh, we want to take force times distance from the axis. So here's the axis. And what we're going to do is say, okay, well, well, my force is M of Pierce times G. That's my force. And my distance from the axis is D. So that's my torque. Um, the board is located here. This distance here is two meters to this force. And so what we can do is we can say, well, that force is mass of the board times G. And then the, the effective distance though is only uh, D minus two because this is two and this is D. So this little gap here is gonna be D minus two. Okay, so there's, there's those two. Then we get to the normal force. Well, that goes right through the axis. So you can see the normal force isn't making it rotate one way or the other. So that needs to provide zero torque, okay? Um, so I'm gonna go like plus, plus zero. Okay, this, this thing doesn't make any torque. And it's because the, the force goes right through the axis. There's no sense of rotation caused by that force. Um, then finally, we're gonna have the torque from west. Now what you notice here is I've got these two like positive terms so there must be a mechanism for torque to be negative um, so that they can add to zero 
So what we're gonna, what I'm gonna introduce here is a sign convention, okay? And the sign convention for torque is that if torques are positive, here I'm gonna write up here, I'm gonna put sign convention, sign convention. And the one we're gonna use is that it's positive if counterclockwise, and it's gonna be negative if clockwise. Now, this is worth a little side rant about this, so I'm gonna push pause here for a second. The, um, when I first learned this, the, I remember thinking like, why would, why does positive go with counterclockwise? Uh, I, was, I was a freshman in, in college in physics when I first saw this, and I was thinking like, you know, why do you have to make, physics is hard enough, why do you have to make counter be positive? Uh, there's a couple, there's two reasons for this. Number one is, if I had a, a thing here uh, oriented like this, and I said, hey, uh, crank that to a 20 degree angle, okay? Um, all of you would have gone like this. Uh, don't lie, none of you would have gone this way, okay? You would have gone like this. So one reason for this being positive is just that typically when we learn about cranking to angles, we, we would say that starting here and going this way would be like positive so many degrees versus going this way. That's one reason. Um, the second reason is when you have something spinning clockwise or counterclockwise, that, that idea depends actually on where you're standing, okay? So for example, if I take this thing and rotate it like this, okay? So from your point of view, you would say that that thing is, is going clockwise, okay? But where I stand, I disagree with you, okay? Uh, for me, this thing is actually going counterclockwise. Um, so, the, um, so the deal is, what you wanna do when you have something that's kind of rotating, is we define what's called a right-hand rule. And so what you do, I'm gonna teach it to you now, when something's tumbling like this, what you do, you take your right hand and kind of turn your fingers in the direction that it's going. And what will happen is your thumb will point in a particular direction, giving a sense of rotation. So in this case, it would be like into the page or like negative. So notice this thing going clockwise for you, it would, it would, it would make a sense of rotation into the page, right? Um, with any physicist or engineer, if you say there's a sense of rotation this way, they know that means that something's tumbling like this. And what's cool about that is it doesn't matter which side of it you're standing on. It's you, um, that removes all the ambiguity about clockwise versus counterclockwise. So that's the second reason. So if you notice that if something's going counterclockwise, counterclockwise, then the torque could be out of the page or toward you. Um, so in, like in the positive Z direction, let's say. So that's another reason why we have this sign convention, which at first, when you first learn it, seems like the physicists are just trying to be jerky, but then it turns out that, oh, okay. So we can call things positive if they, they're rotating in a sense that would come out of the page or negative if it would be going in. So that's the reason for that. Um, so, long story short, um, Wes's torque needs to be negative because it's clockwise. Um, and so uh, Wes has a negative torque, and so then we'll say, okay, well, Wes's force is mass of Wes times G, that's his weight right there, and then times, now we need this distance here. So this distance, this whole thing is four, and this distance is D. So this needs to be four minus D equals zero. All right, so at this point, I would um, start plugging in numbers. Um, what you notice is there's a G in every term, so we can cancel that out. Um, and so now I'll, I'll start putting in numbers. So uh, my mass is 60 uh, times D, plus the board itself is 60, so you get another 60D. And then minus 60 times two, so minus 120. Uh, the zero we won't worry about. Um, Wes is 120, he was a big kid, offensive lineman, uh, minus 120 times four. So minus uh, 480, yeah, minus 120 times four, and then minus and minus, which would be plus, so this will be plus 120D equals zero. Um, and so you notice the only unknown here is D, so let's just finish it. Um, looks like we get 60 plus 60 plus 120, um, so that's going to be 120 plus 120, or 240D, um, minus 
what do we got here? 500, 600. Uh, minus 600 equals zero. So D is going to be 600 over 240, uh, otherwise known as 60 over 24, otherwise known as uh, 10 fourths or 5 halves. So that's going to be 2 and a half. So it looks like we're going to have to put this um, pivot or the axis is going to have to be um, over at two and a half meters. Um, so that's where the um, that's where the pivot should go. All right. So um, so that's solving this thing kind of using torque. Now this particular problem, honestly, the fastest way to do it, um, it says solve by finding the center of mass. Um, um, rather than scroll this up, I'm just going to erase it and do it in, in, uh, do it in the space right here. Um, but right if you're doing the center of mass, which is will probably honestly be my go-to with this one because you'll see it goes quicker. Um, so again, you probably should write underneath, but I'm just going to do it here. Your position of the center of mass, you'd say, well, position zero is worth 60. Um, position, the board's four meters long, so uh, the center of the board would be position two, that's worth 60. And then position four, which is where Wes is, that's worth 120. And then we gotta divide by the total mass, which is gonna be 60 plus 60 plus 120. Um, so it looks like we get, what is this? This is 120 plus 480. So that's gonna be 600 over and then the denominator here is going to be 240 so we sort of already saw this 600 over 240 or 60 over 24 or 5 halves which gives you 2.5 meters um, so that's kind of solving with the with the center of mass as opposed to balancing the torques um, back to the concept of torque what you notice we had here were two positive torques that were trying to get the thing to crank uh, counterclockwise balanced off by one negative torque that was trying to get it to go clockwise. Um, and so that's kind of the story with setting things up with torque.